Namaste. Morning. When is the ideal time to practice meditation and energy channeling techniques such as pranayama, mudras, chanting, visualization, or even asana? Is there a specific time during the day or at night where our bodies and the brain are open so we can attain or achieve more potential, your gains as we practice this method? Yes, there are specific times you know, to practice these uh, techniques. I've done my share of experimentation and practice, and what I realize is the body is the most open in the early hours of the morning, between half past four and half past six in the morning. I'm an early riser, that's my body clock, because I teach really in the morning, so I would wake up normally yeah, before 4.30. Yeah. And that's the time when the body is transitioning from the unconscious to the conscious state. The brain is not fully awake yet, yeah? so we're transitioning. That's why the Shishumna Nadi is really open. When the right and the left channels are balanced, the middle channel opens up, and that's where we are energetically sensitive. So really early hours of the morning. Yeah. And after that, yeah, yeah, I also uh, realized that yeah, the, the uh, Shishumna Nadi uh, closes after half past six. So you have like two chances actually, either 4.30, 5.30, yeah, maybe six o'clock there, yeah, but uh, half past six is the maximum. Because after that, yeah, the Shishumna Nadi closes because the Pingala, the right side, becomes predominant. All right. And then we go through this um, intersection or crossing yeah, uh, once in every 90 minutes through the day, but we don't feel it. Yeah? It's the autonomic function. Yeah? Like we, uh, our bodies and the brain yeah, open up yeah, once every 90 minutes and it stays there for like between two and four minutes. Yeah. So the goal of the pranayama and this meditation, mudras, and the other techniques there is to prolong the length of time the Shishumna Nadi is open. And then when we yeah, practice at that yeah, ideal yeah, time, then we can feel the subtleness of the energy. So if you're an early riser, either you do it half past four, 5.30, or even maximum of six. And after 6.30, um, it's not as ideal anymore. Yeah, because the pingala, as I as mentioned, is already predominant. All right. Next is around lunchtime. Yeah, specifically after. Yeah, between one. Yeah, and around two or three in the afternoon. Yeah, that time. Yeah, or you can sometimes I I would do my um, uh, practice half past twelve. Yeah. And then, yes, it starts the half past 12, actually, in the afternoon, and then it goes all the way down to, yeah, about 3, where we want to take the nap, <laughs> the nap time, the siesta time. That's really yeah, energetically ideal yeah, to practice. That's why your know, power naps after you work, your yeah, lunch time, yeah, and so essential for clearing and restoring the mind. So you can also practice yeah, between yeah, 1 and and three in the afternoon. All right. And at night time, there's also the stage. All right. Six to eight. Yeah. But I rarely practice because I teach during those time. But there was a time that I was like experimenting. Yes. Between uh, 6 p.m. or sometimes 5.30 to 7.30 or 8 p.m., we are energetically open. And then the next is after yeah, 12 midnight. Yeah, I attain most of my sporadic, spontaneous, organic samadhi between half past 12 midnight yeah, in the morning to 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, when, the, when the brain is really going into the abyss, yeah, and then when you are energetically open, yeah, your shishumna nadi opens, and then the kundalini rises up. And that's when I attain most of my samadhi, actually. Yeah. Yeah, between 12.30 and around 1.30 or 2 o'clock in the morning, and the afternoon too. Yeah, that's my body clock. Yeah, that's uh, my nature. So my advice is this. You uh, experiment. Yeah, depending on your body clock, depending on your tasks, responsibilities, and of course, commitments. Yeah. Yeah. So in this modern times, yeah, uh, it's quite challenging to adapt to the traditional prescribed methods of like, for example, waking up in the morning and doing this and that. 
but you know, who has the time, especially in the modern you know, you know, period like this. And you just have to, I mean, you just have to find your, uh, your time, you know, which suits your nature responsibility. So you allow the techniques to adapt to you. You allow yoga to come closer to you. And without you forcing yourself, you know, because the book says this and that and that. And then by knowing that there are like specific times yeah, where we are energetically open, physically open, relaxed, that we can practice this method. So yeah, you can just choose yeah, early morning, midday, yeah, around yeah, late afternoon to towards early evening. And again, yeah, very early hours of the morning yeah, after 12.